back to my channel. Today is the day, y'all. It is hair day. We are making some changes. I've been talking to you guys about wanting to change my hair, switch it up a little bit, and I think I'm pretty solid on what I wanna do. We are going to go in and get some highlights, like balayage style highlights. I don't want like the balayage balayage, which is like coloring your entire ends. That's what I did last time, and I felt like it was a little bit too much color for me, I think. Right now, I'm going for subtle. Most of y'all, I feel like majority of y'all are kind of feeling the way I'm feeling where it's like team highlights. Let's bring some dimension back. I just want the color to be really nice and warm and chocolatey brown. I don't necessarily want to go the copper way. I just want to go more warm. I'm really excited about it. I also, it's like really evident right now, but I cut like weeks ago, I cut like a little bit off here and then I was too scared to like cut a little bit off here. So then I kind of just left it and now it's just really uneven. So we're gonna go in and make sure we get a little trim done as well. And then surprise, surprise, I did not expect this of me because y'all know I've been chopping, but right now I'm actually genuinely having so, so much fun with the length. We love her. She's just, I don't know. I'm feeling really good with having the length of my hair, especially with having like a really nice, easy routine that really works for me. So right now I'm actually going to keep the length, but obviously just even this out and then maybe just freshen up some of these layers just a little bit. I don't want my layers to be like too short. So I'm, I'm gonna tell her like probably long layers because the whole goal is to just kind of continue growing. Yeah, just like a little reshape, freshening up and some color. I'm excited, 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 excited. And like this time I want to do anything and everything possible to make sure that my curls are gonna stay this nice and healthy because if they do not pop like this after I get the color, I'm gonna be really sad and upset. I'm just gonna be so extra about how I'm taking care of my hair, especially after like a fresh color. I'm not gonna do any blow drying. I'm not gonna do anything that's gonna cause any stress on my hair just give my hair a little extra tlc this is basically what i'm preparing for i'm about to get ready i want to put on just a little oh all my makeup is still packed in my bag because literally i just put back from came on yesterday i want to put on light like a little bit of light like super light like you don't know whether or not i'm wearing makeup type makeup i want to feel cute so yeah basically all i'm gonna do is put on a little brows cover up these spots a little bit with some powder, maybe do a little concealer and then some mascara and then we gotta go. I need to make sure I am filming my Instagram and TikTok content as well. I wanna get lots of before and after photos and video clips so we can really get some good comparison to really see like how this color changes my look. Like I feel like I just look so different with it, especially when I look back at old pictures. Am I the only one who's gone down the color analysis rabbit hole of, of TikTok? Because that is a whole other thing. That's probably another reason why I've recently been feeling like maybe I should go back to color. Basically, if you haven't heard of it, color analysis is basically really getting in depth, looking at your skin color, the color of your eyes, and the color of your natural hair color, and deciphering what type of colors are your actual best colors to wear, like colors that actually suit you. When you really get into the whole color analysis thing, it's just crazy to see the difference. Whenever I need my brows to stay put, this is like the most hardcore um, brow gel. It's the Benefit Cosmetics 24 Hour Brow Setter, and they are not lying. Okay, this feels like a hair gel, but for your, but for your eyebrow hairs, it's crazy. This like they are locked in place. That's it, not moving anywhere once this is on. I think I'm about to film my little acne coverage on TikTok, so I will be right back. All right, we went nice and simple with the look, super quick and easy. Here's our final look, y'all, with the with the jet black. All right, let's go, we gotta get on the road. We're here, it is time to go. I'm excited. I'm like anxious, excited, like nervous, but ready. Ready. I'm feeling for a little bit of a change. Yeah. So I want to kind of add, I know like six months ago, you were like, were you gonna lighten? And I was like, no, no, of course not. And now here I am six months later, like I kind of want dimension. <laughs> but um, just a little bit of added warmth is really what yeah. I'm looking for. Chocolatey kind of brown highlights. I, like maybe like balayage style highlights where it's kind of just, I just really, I'm going for something subtle. My hair is in the best state it's ever been. So I'm, I just don't want, if we could do as minimum processing yeah. as possible, because yeah. I'm really happy with it. So I'm hoping, yeah. and I'm actually in a state, I'm so happy with it. I'm like, maybe I could actually grow it out without feeling like I'm going crazy trying to take care of it. So whatever we can do to 
keep it as healthy as possible. For cut, I was just thinking, freshening out the end. I cut this side and then I got scared and I didn't cut this side, so it's a little uneven. So just kind of evening it out. I want my ends, like the bottom part of my hair, to still feel nice and like thick. My goal is to really just to grow. So I don't know if we could maybe transition to like longer layers. I, I still have like the bangs, which are kind of growing out, but maybe we can kind of taper it, yeah, blend it, do like a little, some face framing a little bit. Didn't want it to be flat and boring, so like some long layers and just some dimension. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I don't know what it is about 2024, but I just, I don't know. It's here now and I'm just like, wow, I'm feeling different. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> My hair is dropped. I like to call it a drop yes, because it grows yes. up and out first. And it's finally coming. And it's dropping Down. now. Yeah. So now I'm styling for more definition and stuff and I'm finding that I really like it. Like I'm yeah. enjoying it. It lasts me. I made it to nine days my last wash and I was like, mm-hmm, I'm liking this. <laughs> it's happening. I'm so excited. As far as like the health of your hair, mm -hmm. For what we're gonna do today, your hair is not gonna be unhealthy. Okay. Or need any kind of like anything different. No. Like okay. No. So kind of still just do what I'm doing. Yes. Because I was thinking about ordering K18. I wouldn't. Wouldn't. No, okay. No, I wouldn't because like if you start feeling like oh it's getting more tingly or like okay. things are happening, you just need a toner to like chill that cuticle back down. Okay. Because when we lighten, we have to like lift the cuticle yeah so that just gets roughed up the toner yeah. lays it back down okay so it's not damage like inside your hair yeah where you have like real damage yeah, where yeah. you need that k18 to go in there and like uh, do crazy work yeah 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 just need a little a little something little toner go on top does protein do the same thing without lay the cuticle down as well protein's going inside uh, so that's k18 that's okay. olaplex that's all of that. Like yeah. the biggest thing I would focus on is detoxing, like deep cleansing. Deep cleansing. Honestly, that is the best thing that I've ever learned from yeah. you. Is making sure you're getting a good deep cleanse. Yeah. Like if you focus on that, find your products that you like and just like stick to a good routine. That's really all that matters. Yeah. the top the main yeah I think the main thing is like do you want to be able to get more height here or do you want to start moving more maybe we move more towards down yeah and bringing the volume more yeah. down yeah so maybe we leave it I think maybe leave it and okay. then after you're styled out if you see anything anything else how does it feel around your face feels good I, I mean the bangs it. look good and blended yeah, yeah. The face framing is cute yeah I like it's it it's not like too much it doesn't look choppy to me either mm -hmm. it's soft I love it Yay. Yeah, it's really Sweet. pretty. Thank you. Okay, cool. So about the foils, I did bring up that concern to Crystal because I had heard somewhere on the internet that foils shouldn't be used on curly hair because they're too harsh. But this is your reminder to not listen to every single thing that you see on the internet. Kids, Crystal was like, that is absolutely incorrect what matters the most is actually the products that you're using on the hair like if you're using not great products and then foiling then of course you're going to get that damage but if you're using high quality products on the hair inside the foil then you're good to go she also taught me that what you really need to worry about is not necessarily bleach it's actually the level of developer that you're using developer is kind of how i understand it is what makes the magic happen basically that's my professional way of putting it and so developer can go all the way up to like level 40. we used level 7 in my hair so we kept it nice and light nice and easy and again exactly what i asked for which was minimal processing we got swatches I like how warm this looks is this more cool tone this is natural so like oh, this is just like okay. middle ground okay. like i think this might be my favorite just because okay. it's so warm like yeah and so like this is more like gold warm mm -hmm. this is like a really rich brown yeah. so that makes sense because it has some of the like red in there too okay, yeah but it's not like a red it's right. just like a really really rich brown like chocolatey brown yeah yeah what do you think, you think i think so good? yeah i think so 
think it would be really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like showing it because some people see that and they're like, it's red. I don't like it because they see the red yeah. in there and they don't love that. But gotcha. then some people see it as just like warm and rich. That's what I see. I yeah. just see warmth and richness. Yeah. This is pretty so too. that's what I would go with. Okay. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. So my hair is lightened now. So now we go in with toner to get it to the right tone, like the right color. So we're gonna go for that rich, warm brown. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love this combo. This yeah. powder combo is I'm so like, good. The? And this is just as subtle as I wanted it. Yeah. Wow. I love it. Looks it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, it's day two. We got to get into this hair. So, first things first the shape. I am absolutely obsessed with it. Look, it's like giving. This creates like the perfect shape and the perfect like environment for my hair to just continue growing out like this so the shape bomb.com okay everything that i was looking for we got lots of thickness at the bottom which is exactly what i want now the curls the curls the curls the curls the curls themselves we did this really interesting combo it was inner sense and we used the i create hold gel with the i create definition foam on top that foam i feel like we need to do a dedicated video talking about that foam because it is the most hardcore foam that I have ever used. I honestly feel like the name should be switched because I feel like the gel creates a lot of definition and the foam is what really creates the hold. Anyways, we'll maybe we'll save that for a separate video if you guys are interested. I like how fluffy it is. It's nice and soft, but super curl defined. I did use a brush to style me, so I feel like my curls are just extra, like they are extra shrunk. Now, finally, the color. Can y'all even see it? <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna try and get a little closer to the window. Maybe we need to go outside. Can y'all see it? It is so subtle. We went for like a brown that's almost, it's giving like slightly reddish undertones, but I love it. It is giving all the warmth that I wanted. What I will need to do is every two months or so, go back in and like tone it because over time it's gonna lighten a little bit, which I'm kind of excited to see how it continues to lighten, see what that color kind of looks like. And it'll be fun. <laughs> I love it. I literally, I literally love it. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much for coming along with me for yet another super fun salon visit. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the shape, the curls, the color. I'm also very curious to hear what your hair goals are for 2024. I think I officially know what mine are, which is to just grow this hair out and just really and truly focus on growth and maintaining happy, healthy hair. That's it. Maybe we could be on like a little mini hair growth journey together. Thank you so much for being here. I love y'all so hard. I'll be right back here, same time, same place for another video, y'all. Bye.